Hi everyone, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to present to you our electric motorbike use case with Kieran, who owns the company in this use case. Hi Kieran. Hello Nathan. Can you tell us about your, your company, your business in general? Absolutely. So, as you specified, we sell and manufacture electric off-road motorcycles. Um, we're currently based in Croatia, and I set this company up with my wife around 10 years ago. Okay. Um, today we have around 50 employees throughout four departments. These departments are sales, inventory, manufacturing, and the administration side. And to give you an idea of the size of the business, we manufacture around 1,000 bikes a year. All right. And how do you usually acquire all those customers, by which means? We only have one mean of uh, generating the leads, is through our, um, our website. We do sometimes have pop-up stores uh, across the globe to, uh, for our potential clients to try out the motorbikes and so on. But even if they are interested, we'll direct them to our website anyway. Okay, all right. And as a manufacturing company, mm -hmm. I guess there's many details about the logistics, the stock management. Can you tell me a bit more about this? How do you, what do you exactly manufacture in-house yourself? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Um, so this is probably the most complex part of our business. As in, we try to manufacture as much as possible ourselves in our plant. We manufacture absolutely everything except for the shocks and the brakes. Okay. So everything that we don't manufacture, so the shocks, the brakes, and the uh, raw materials, we keep those in stock. Right. We, we need a minimum stock so to make sure that we have some, if need be, when we produce a, a motorcycle. There is a, a tracking system for the finished bikes. Okay. And um, we do have a second plant where we process quality checks and where we stock the finished product. Okay, all right. There's, there's many, I guess, intricacies in this manufacturing process. There is. How does your accounting fit into all this? How does the accounting fit with and align with sales and manufacturing? Mm -hmm. Well, as you can probably guess, accounting is a bit of a mess for us right now. Um, we don't have a specific way of matching payments with invoices. But at the moment, we sort of a lot of manual labor and a lot of time wasting. Uh, what we're looking to do is to uh, introduce that along with the fact that there are sometimes discrepancies between what we um, invoice and what we have in stock. Okay. So it would be brilliant to be able to like align both, make sure that both are on the same page. Yeah, but... um, regarding, in, uh, regarding accounting still, there are several things that we would also like to implement. We'd like to have a certain way of having discounts for customers, loyal customers, for example. Or if we receive a payment within the first week, rather than the classic two months, mm -hmm. something like that, that would be that would be brilliant. Okay, so that that's more about the customer invoices. What about the vendor bills? Is there anything you want to automate to simplify in your process? Actually, now that you mention it, yes, indeed there is. Um, we would love to be able to automate payments with the bank if that's okay. possible. I, I don't. I, heard that my accountant would like that to You'd be happy to know that it actually is. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Brilliant. And is there anything else you can think of? Any details you want to, to add to all this? Off the top of my head, not really. I think that's about it. All right, well, let me get to work and I'll get back to you when I have a solution. What about you guys? Why not you try to solve Kieran's use case? Work on your solution on your end, set up your database, implement all of this. I will do the same thing on my side and then you can compare it to to ours in the next video. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan.